night is a special night. It's a, it's a, it's a healing and miracle night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, I think we are about to do everything to start the seminar on Myself, please uh, remove your video. When you look down on your gadget, the laptop or the phone is a, 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 an icon of a microphone. When you tap that, you mute your mic. And next to it is an icon with a, with a picture of a camera. When you tap on that icon, you have removed your video. As simple as that then you don't tamper with any other thing. And uh, so we encourage you to remove the video. If you don't remove the video, then the admin might be forced to, to help you. Okay, to help you. So we thank God. Like I did in the morning, I still, I'm still led to. I think admin, you're going to help me with that person. So uh, we want to also do a recap. The whole day, the whole day we have been looking at the name of Jesus, praying to the name of Jesus, uh, praying to the name of Jesus. And uh, you can just share with them. And I know there are people who have joined for the first time this session and uh, we can't go through I can't go through the sharing from Monday up to now but you can just put in the chat there what have been your highlights either from today or from yesterday what have been what have been your highlights I can see some of you are struggling to get where the charts are. There is a casaco which has three dots. When you click on that cursor, not, not that one, there is, there is an icon. Towards the end, there is a thing which shows uh, like messages. When you tap there, read the word chat with everyone. When you tap there, a window opens where you can write. Yes, you can use that one. And uh, then you write in the chat what has been your key lesson this week so far, or the word which you are running with after this seminar. Because the theme of the seminar is teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. So what has been your major lesson you've been learning? And we are going to use some few minutes to do that. And then afterwards, I'll share something small. And then I'll get to pray the prayer of faith over you know, some people. OK? Yeah. Just share with us what have been your key lessons so far in the chat. Just write them quickly. So that those who are here for the first time can also run with something that you got recovered maybe in the morning, uh, you know. Susan so learned to have faith just like Elijah had. Or you learned to, you know, we don't really learn to have faith. We learn to use faith. We learn to use our faith. And the disciples came to Jesus and said, increase our faith. Jesus told them, if you have faith as more as the mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, be thrown to the sea, and it shall 
business. So we learn to use our faith. We learn to pray with authority and peace. We learn to pray with authority, commanding situations to change. Yes. Not bargaining with the devil. Praying with understanding. Praying while thinking, you know. Thinking about this name of Jesus, you know. You know. Yes, I love all these lessons. Praying everywhere. The Bible says we should pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Tomorrow morning I'll share with you some other scriptures in that direction. Okay. Prayer is the key that gets things which are in the in the word of God. Yeah, prayer is the key we use to get things from the word of God into our world. The Bible tells us uh, um, in Hebrews 11 verse 3, it says that by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. You hear that? By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So it is the word of God that frames the world, not the other way around. Yes. Praying with thanksgiving and praise, great lessons, Nancy, Constance, learn that you can do mighty works than Jesus did. It's true. It's true, honestly. It's true. You know? And it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. For us to be able to have a meeting like this, and there are people from Burundi, from Rwanda, from Uganda, and, uh, at the same time as we are. Those are mighty works. Those are mighty works. You know. Yeah, those lessons, those lessons, share them. Somebody is writing, somebody who is here for the first time, uh, you know, going to God with thanksgiving. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving, not with tears. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. And his courts with praise. We we just have to practice to enter his gates with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. Aha, uh -huh. any more lessons? I have a few more minutes. Uh, a few more minutes. Yes, my daughter Sheila uh learned to pray for extraordinary things. Yes. Pray for extraordinary things. When you I learned something some years ago. When you appear, when you find yourself in front of God, you don't ask for what men can give you. When Bartimaeus found himself ushered in the presence of Jesus, and when Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He didn't ask for money. He was a beggar, but he never asked for money. He said, I want to see. When you find yourself in the presence of God, you don't ask for 500. You ask for 500 million. Yes. The name of Jesus is a nuclear weapon. Wow. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is so powerful. We must honor it. We must reverence it. We must not use it in vain. We must not use it frivolously. We might, we must not, you know, we must esteem it. We must esteem it. Yeah. I've learned to pray for things that I cannot do as a person, but what only God can do. Yes. When you come to the place of prayer, you have come to the to have a divine exchange. Exchange your possibilities for God's impossibilities. Yes. Teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray. It's the prayer of my life. It's the prayer. It's my prayer uh, for myself in this seminar. I, me, I'm learning how to pray. You know, uh, there, there's, there's, there's a certain way to pray that I'm going to teach you tomorrow at, at lunchtime. But I was practicing it today, today morning, after the morning glory. And I was, I was so blessed. I was so blessed. Yeah. Any more lessons? Any more lessons? You know, for those of us who have joined us for the first time, prayer avails much. You know, prayer avails much. We should just not do, we should not just do cliche play, uh, prayer. You know, cliche prayers is typical Pharisee kind of praying. 
the Pharisees, Jesus said, when you pray, do not be like the Pharisees, multiplying words, multiplying phrases, because they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. That's Matthew chapter 6 there. But when you pray, don't be like the Pharisees who just multiply phrases, thinking that they will be heard by them. You don't think that you will be heard because you say, Oh Lord, 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 oh Lord. You're not heard because of much speaking. You are heard because you're praying a prayer that is rooted in the faithfulness of God. That is rooted in the integrity of God. We saw a scripture in First John five fourteen that this is the confidence that we have that if we ask for anything in accordance with His will, He hears us. You know, when you are asking in accordance with His will, you don't have to manipulate Him. You don't have to uh, use tears. You don't have to, you know. He hears, and when he hears, we know that we have granted as our request what we have asked of him. So the truth is that when you have prayed in accordance with his will, you can go away confidently knowing you have your answer. Whether you see it or not, you just know you have it. Because there's that scripture in Luke chapter 11 saying, whoever asks, receives. Whoever asks, receives. Matthew 7, 7 says, ask and you receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door shall be opened to you. It's a promise. So when you ask, you must believe that you receive. Whether you see it there and then or not, you must believe that you receive. One of the things we need to learn about God is that God is spirit. And when God moves, he moves in the spirit realm fast. You know. When God moves, he moves in the spirit realm first. So when you ask for something, it is released in the spirit realm. And then when you receive it in the spirit realm, when you believe that you received it, then you shall have it. You know, sacred, give us that scripture. I need to show you that scripture. Mark chapter 11, verse number 24. I need to teach you something about prayer on that line. Yes, are we are we learning something already? Are we, this is a this is school. It's like the, it's been a week of prayer school. Uh, so I hope you're learning something, learning something. Now Mark eleven twenty four, Sabres help us with that scripture. It says, "Whatsoever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and you shall have it." You know, it's an interesting verse. You know, whatsoever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. You shall have it. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you'll have them. It's an interesting portion of scripture. But the truth is that when you ask for it, believe that you have received it, thank God for it, uh, celebrate it, celebrate God, thank him for what he has done, believe that you have received it. Because when God moves, he moves in the spirit realm first. The spirit realm is as real as this physical realm, just that our eyes don't see it. But the spirit realm is real. When you read Second Kings chapter 6, you'll find the story there when uh, the king of uh, Syria, I think, surrounded Elisha and his servant. And his servant, when they woke up in the morning, he saw that they were all surrounded. And he came crying to Elisha, telling him how they were surrounded. And Elisha just mentioned something. He said, Lord, open his eyes. And when God opened his eyes, the Bible says he saw that there were chariots of fire all around Elisha. They were always there. But it's just that his physical eyes could not see them. So there is a spirit realm and it is real. When you ask for stuff, go and in accordance with God's will, God releases it. And he releases it in the spirit realm. Now, faith is believing that it has been released. Faith is believing that you have received it, even when you don't see it. Because we live by faith. 
faith and not by sight. Now, when you believe that you have received it, then you shall have it in the physical. You get it. You get it. So you believe after prayer. That's why it says um, we come to God in everything by prayer and supplication and with thanksgiving make our request known to God. Philippians 4, 6. So when you are praying, you know, whatever you are praying for, whatever you have been praying for since this week began, thank God for it. Say, I thank you, Lord, that you have given it to me. I thank you, Lord, that you have released it. Though I don't see it, though I don't touch it yet, but I thank you that you have released it there somewhere in the spirit. It's true. It's true. You you know, this. Um, you read it later. I won't uh, go there because of time. But Daniel chapter 9, you remember when Daniel fasted for three, uh, three, 21 days? You know, Daniel was praying and fasting 21 days. And then the angel shows up at the 21st day and tells him that as soon as you started praying, your prayer was heard and the answer was released. You know, the answer was released as soon as he started praying. But in between the first day and the 21st day, the angel said, but I was resisted by the prince of Pasha. So that is sometimes what happens when you pray for things and they don't seem to be manifesting. It could be that, you know, God released the answer, but the enemy is fighting. The enemy is fighting the manifestation. So the way you, you know, you, you, you continue in prayer, you continue thanking God, you continue declaring you believe you have received it, see the healing manifest in your body. 
in the name of Jesus. I want us to read the scripture that we read again. We read in, in, in John. Uh, actually, tonight, at last time, I did John chapter 14. So tonight, let me do another one. Let us, do, let us go to Acts of the Apostles. Are you, is somebody getting something tonight? Somebody getting something tonight? Your healing is older than your sickness. It's a, it's a wonderful truth. It's a wonderful truth that, 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 that I was born with health insurance. The day I was born, my insurance, my health insurance had already been sorted. I, so so, so, so when, uh, when I fall sick, I am the, I'm the, I'm the healed person I'm the healed person that the enemy is trying to attack with sickness. I'm not the sick trying to get healed. I'm the healed person that the enemy is trying to attack with sickness. When you understand it like that, then it's easy to, to, to minister healing to yourself and to others in the mighty name of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. So we go to Acts. Acts chapter 2, chapter 3. Let's go Acts, Acts, uh, Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. I want to pray the prayer of faith over you tonight. Uh, over that condition, over that situation. You receive your healing, Rachel, of course. You receive your healing tonight. You know, whichever condition it is, we shall, we shall speak to it this night. And some of you you will experience instant and i mean instant healing i mean instant healing the leper when jesus touched him in matthew chapter 8 the bible says the disease left him. diseases have legs they can hear the word of god and they live like it, that's what the bible says that when jesus touched him the, the, the leprosy left him the leprosy, the disease can leave you. Yeah, it can. Other people, like the man in John chapter 9, Jesus told him, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. The Bible says he went and washed and he came back sick. So the healing did not happen there and then in his body. But when he came, went and did the instruction, he was healed. Some people, I tell, go and eat what you never used to eat. Go and do what you never used to do. And as you're doing it, then you'll be healed. Some people go and sleep. When they woke up in the morning, it's gone. You know, the ways of God. That's the way God moves. Acts chapter 3, verse 1. I'm running against time. Acts chapter 3, verse 1. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. Three o'clock in the afternoon, when a certain man crippled from his bath was being carried along, who was laid each day at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, so that he might beg for charitable gifts from those who enter the temple. So when he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them to give him a gift. Verse 4. And Peter directed his gaze intently at him. And so did John, and said, look at us, look at us. So the man paid attention to them, expecting that he was going to get something from them. Peter said, silver and gold I don't have, but what I do have, that I give to you. In the use of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Do you hear that prayer? That is what I call a prayer of command. That is what I call a prayer of faith. You know, it says, what I have, I give unto you. In the use of the name of Jesus, get up and walk. I'm going to do that tonight. You know, I'm going to ask you to tell me what you are unable to do in your body. Then, I'll tell your body to do it. It is as simple as that. 
Hallelujah. It's going to be exciting when you see these things happen to you over the internet. Over the internet. You know, Esther was healed of migraine. Over the internet. I never touched her, but I declared the word. And she was healed. You know. And other people, many other people were healed. You know, there are those of you who are healed in BTZ you are here. And, you know, we are believing God together in BTZ. The power of God is not limited by distance. <laughs> the power of God is not limited by distance. And you're going to see it tonight, you know. And, uh, you know, the healing ministry, you know, you just see the way it was done. And you do it like that. I was telling people in the healing school today that, you know, to do the works of Jesus, you go in the Gospels, you study the life of Jesus, underline the works of Jesus, and see, look at that. Aunt Joy, God healed of diabetes in BTZ. I've never met Aunt Joy, but she got healed. Look at that powerful testimony, you know. Healed of diabetes in BTZ. I don't care what you have tonight. The power of God is available. I don't, you know, Peter told him that silver and gold I don't have. But what I have, I give unto you. I will also tell you that money, money to go to India, money to go where, money to buy and diabetic medication and what, I don't have. But what I have, I give unto you. As long as your ear can hear me tonight, what I have, I will dispense to you. God has qualified me, has made me sufficient as a minister of the Spirit. <laughs> I have the Spirit of God in me. I have, you know, I have this, the power of God is in me and is on me. The presence of God is in me. Those who are ministers, we may know them. They're very simple pastors. 
But when I come to minister, when I when I understand who I am, I just declare the things that I have. I declare the things that I am. He has anointed me. And there is evidence. There is evidence. There is evidence. There is evidence. Okay? You've seen guild of diabetes, guild of allergies. There is Barbara. There is sacred now. I was here with her the other day, drinking her milk tea. There is evidence. Okay? So, what I have, I give unto you. I give unto you. I'm a minister of the spirit, not the letter. And, you know, that scripture, by the way, I'm talking about a scripture. You know, Paul was writing and saying he has qualified us. He has made us sufficient as ministers of the spirit. So we are ministers of the spirit. Like, like the spirit of God flows through us, from us. Bible says those who believe, out of them shall flow rivers of living water. So rivers of living water were flowing out of Peter and out of John. They now flow out of me. They flow out of you if you believe. They flow out of you. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Know that we are qualified and sufficient in ability of ourselves. But our power and ability and sufficiency are from God. The next verse is what I'm interested in. You know, He has, He has, He has, He has, He has qualified us, making us fit and worthy as ministers. I like this, and ministers and dispensers of the new covenant. We are ministers of the Spirit. I am a minister of the Spirit. So when Peter said to this cripple, uh, "What I have, I give unto you," even me tonight, I say, "What I have." I give unto you, I give unto you, Rachel, be healed from that condition, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus. This is the time for dispensing, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever it is, whatsoever it is, is your condition, now is the time to pray the prayer of faith. Now is the time to release something in you, something in you, something to you. Silver and gold, I don't have, but what I have, I give unto you. I speak to your back to be healed in the name of Jesus. Silver and gold I don't have, but the power of God that I've been privileged to carry, I release to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind that spirit of infirmity in your chest, Susan, in the mighty name of Jesus. I, it's a spirit of infirmity. I bind that spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. And when it's a spirit of infirmity, when we start binding it, you see the pain moves to the back, moves to the head, moves whatever, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, look at how the Lord is going to heal Shalom. Let me even carry my laptop properly, properly, so that I dispense this healing to you, Shalom. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, from today, from today, I command your skin to receive all these sponges and not react to them. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will testify. Immediately after this session, you will go and get the things you are allergic to. You know, uh, sacred used to be allergic to milk and would react and what? God healed her. The same power that healed sacred, the same power that healed Ruth in Tejerize. She had not been eating milk, uh, meat and she was healed at the healing station. She, eat, she ate meat without reacting. Now it's meat without reacting. In the name of Jesus, I speak against allergies. I command your immune system to stop fighting itself. I command those cells, those cells that over fire in the name of Jesus to come to normalcy in the glorious name of Jesus. Receive healing in your body in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, your skin stops to itch when you apply cloth and those sponges. And you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of infirmity spirit of infirmity, whoever is attacked by the spirit of infirmity, I bind it in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
the man who had been by the pool for 38 years, Jesus told him, pick up your mat and go home. We speak to that man who has been sick for 20 years. We speak to her body to do what she was not able to do for 20 years. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Swelling die. Swelling disappear. Swelling disappear. You are loosed from those swellings in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of God is flowing. People, silver and gold I don't have. I don't have a PhD. I don't have all those kind of things. I'm not a consultant. You know those conditions. But what I have what I have in the name of Jesus, I declare total healing over uh, menorrhagia. Is it what, what it's called? It's called dysmenorrhea. In the mighty name of Jesus, we've seen many healed of that pain. There's a girl who was healed instantly. We, I prayed with her for her with, the, with Sandra at, the, at our office there. They brought her in my office in the mighty name of Jesus and we spoke to the pain and the pain disappeared. Now, that same power in Jesus Jesus name and when I pray for you uh, check yourself check yourself check some of you feel like there is power like like you feel a heat a heat coming over your body you feel like you're shaking some of you might feel like some peace just flooding your soul some of you you know you know that is evidence that the power of God is just blowing over you the power of God is just moving over you silver and gold I don't have but what I have the healing power power of God, I give unto you. What I have, the healing virtue of God, I give unto you. In Jesus' name, I bind the spirit of allergies. I bind the spirit of asthma. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command the airways and I command the, you know, systems to open up. In the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, Son of the living God, Son of the living God. What? Spitting for more than six years, it ends. We end it. We end it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we end that spitting. There's a woman who came at, uh, at the healing station, and she, she felt like there was grass. She kept saying that she felt as if grass was growing on her tongue. Grass, literally. She felt as if every time she would pass a tongue on her tongue, there was grass. But it was a demon. It was a false spirit there. And we cast out the false spirit, and she was free. The Bible says, believers shall cast out demons. That demon that causes that excessive spitting for six years, I bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel its assignment in in your body, Giovanni, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord heals you now because that demon spirit is cast out, that false spirit is cast out of your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Paralyzed arm, I speak strength. There's a girl who was came to the healing station paralyzed for two years, and God put her arm under traction. As we were just seeing, we just saw strength return to her arm. That video is on our YouTube channel. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak strength, strength, strength. In the name of Jesus, the arm feels paralyzed because the spirit of or the, 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 the false spirit is living through that arm. In the mighty name of Jesus, it lives, it lives, it lives. Shapa, Rosteka, skin issue after swimming, that is not God's will. It's not God's will that after swimming, he gets a skin issue. I speak God's will over him, over your son, Carol. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I agree with you, Christine. The left ear, be free. In in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, the power of God is flowing, people. You will testify, you will testify, you will testify in the glorious name of Jesus. Swollen legs be healed, be healed, be healed. You know, they were minister, minister into the sea. We don't beg and petition, you know, we, we Jesus sent us to heal the sea. So we speak healing, we declare healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you know, somebody who, who has like a, like a, a painful right shoulder, in the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. 
be healed in that right shoulder. Receive your healing there in the mighty name of Jesus. In the 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 name of Jesus. Conditions leave. Painful legs leave. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those legs that swell, the pain, I command pain to leave. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bodily pains and all those kind of eye issues be healed in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus uh, we speak a strength in the spine in Jesus name we speak strength uh, healing over the spine in the glorious name of Jesus we lay hands on the sick we proclaim healing and the sick recover I speak recovery in that spine in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus break asunder. Now, let me heal this thing. Our asthma in Diana's uh, system be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Migraines be healed. I speak the arm of the Lord over you. The hand of the Lord over your head in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the power of God in your stomach to be healed. To be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. To be healed. To be healed. I bind that spirit of bipolar. The spirit of schizophrenia. I bind it in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. God makes a way where there is no way. I release a spirit of excellence for those who have exams. In the name of Jesus. Silver and gold we don't have. But what we have, we give unto you. Just receive it. Just receive it. We shall take some five more minutes because I'm seeing more requests there. In the mighty name of Jesus. Stomach pain. Max body be gone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak and release a huge appetite. Shown that in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, people were healed of hypertension here in BTZ. I release, I release healing. I command the blood pressure to normalize in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever I am commanding, whatever I'm speaking to, check yourself. The Lord is is moving. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I spirit of arthritis be gone. I speak healing for need in the name of Jesus. Collapsed lands, Bacosta Brashatara. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We speak healing to the land. We speak healing to the heart. We bind the spirit of arthritis in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You can't accept hypertension and diabetes. She can't. I pray the Lord God you renew her mind to the truth that uh uh, hypertension and diabetes can be healed in the mighty name of Jesus because as she thinketh in her mind that she will be in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of mental illness, every spirit behind mental illness. We bind it in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Migraines flee in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, pain around the navel be gone in the the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is here, people. Silver and gold we don't have, but what we have we give unto you. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. The healing virtue of God is relieved. Is relieved. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for every pain. Every pain goes. Every disease goes. Every terminal illness goes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Yes, Father, thank you. Silver and gold we don't have. But what we have, we give unto your people. What we have, we give unto our generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release this healing. I release this healing river. In the name of Jesus, whoever is thirsty, whoever is reaching out, my God, let this river flow into their bodies. Let this river flow into their bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the river of God, the double river of the Holy Spirit, flow into their bodies and cause them to live. In the name of Jesus, let the double river of God give life to every mortal body here. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, we will we are healed and we are made whole. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is good and the Lord has done it. In the name of Jesus, you know, after, after Peter and John healed this man and 
when people had come to them and they were worshiping them, they thought they were gods and what this is what Peter told them. Let me show you this and then I finish. Uh, Peter told them in Acts chapter 3, verse 14. You know, he says, But you denied and rejected the pure and holy, the just and blameless one, and demanded the pardon of the murderer to be granted to you. But you killed the very source of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. Verse 16, Acts 3 16. And his name, and let me read in KJV, and his name through faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know yes the faith which comes through him has given him perfect soundness in the presence of you all it is the name of jesus and faith in his name that makes you well tonight in the name of jesus not me not my wife not what but it is the name of jesus and faith in his name when you grow in confidence in this name when you grow in uh, using this name then you shall start to see you know what jesus did physically 2022 years ago his name can do you know when we apply his name, it's like we bring him physically into the matter in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You people, you'll check yourself. I expect that you're free. I strongly expect that you're free because I prayed the prayer of faith in the mighty name of Jesus. And it has rebirth. It has rebirth. I expect that you're healed, that your loved ones were healed, and you're going to testify. You're going to testify tomorrow, Friday, you know. You know, this, uh, when, we, when the seminar ends Friday, the upper room continues. The upper room happens every day from uh, morning 5 to 6 a.m. and uh, lunchtime 1 to 2 p.m. So you can continue being part of the upper room as we continue seeking God as we continue seeking God together. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let us pray for those who want to give. Uh, those who want to give, you know, we put there that account number because some people prefer to do bank transfers. Some people prefer to do what they call the, uh, instructions to their bank. You know, whatever you give in this seminar week goes to the Good News Outreach and the preaching of the gospel. You can just do a bank transfer. You can do a bank instruction, instruct them concerning your tithes, instruct them concerning your fast food and everything, and the Lord shall bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your people. Thank you for the many healings that have been registered tonight. In the name of the Lord, we thank you for the testimonies that we are going to hear. I thank you that your power has moved in people's bodies. And Lord, these that are giving this night, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that you multiply their giving in Jesus' name and multiply the work of their hands and whatever they give, let it uh, grow to the glorification of your name and let them be blessed also as they give uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen.